If we say ya, that's Korean. That's for Korean for, well, it's my attempt at Korean. That's Korean for hello or greetings. Why did I start off this video with uh, the greeting of hello in Korean? Well, I just saw the movie Parasite the other night. It's a great movie if y'all haven't seen it. I'll talk about it a bit more uh, here in just a minute, but let's talk about the shave. This is my fourth shave. Welcome back. And I'm going to be using a couple of products that you haven't seen yet if you watch my other videos. Um, I guess first let's talk about um, the soap and the lather. So I'll be using the um, Kiss My Face uh, lavender. You've already seen that. I used that in a previous video. Um, but um, you haven't seen this brush. This is a Samoog horsehair brush. And I just picked this up a few months ago, so I've only used it a handful of times, but I absolutely love it. It's the first horsehair brush uh, that I've ever had, and uh, they're kind of kind of hard to find. Um, you see tons of boar, you see tons of badger, and tons of synthetic as well, but horse is kind of hard to find. And so uh, I believe it's called a Pharaoh 3. Did I already say that? Or not, not Pharaoh 3. I think it's just called a Pharaoh. I don't know where 3 came from. Um... Bought it on Amazon, pretty cheap, it's less than 20 bucks, but I really like it. It uh, it performs really well. I did buy it on Amazon, but it, it wasn't prime. It took a while. It actually came from Portugal. It actually came from the um, the plant, I believe. It, it came from somewhere in Portugal, so it took a couple of weeks. But uh, it's small, but it performs really well. As far as the actual knot size, I don't know if it's a 24, maybe a 22. And the loft is not huge. You can tell it's not a super tall knot. Um, but for a little bitty brush, it does really, really well. A little bit of a smell. I mean, it's it's a horsehair brush, an animal brush. It's going to have a little bit of smell uh, initially. But that was gone, I'd say, within three, three shaves. Hardly any shedding. It hasn't really shed maybe like three or four bristles total. And I feel like it's kind of done shedding. If you watched my last video, I talked about my one and only badger brush that I have, and it sheds a ton. I've had it for several years, and it still sheds. And I feel like this horsehair is pretty much, well, there's one bristle in there. Uh, but still, it, it just doesn't shed as much. So it's starting to get a decent lather whipped up here with the Kiss My Face shaving cream. Start putting it on here. Yeah. I'm impressed. I liked it because it was green. I like a nice variety of colors in my shaved den. And it was green and I thought it looked cool. So the movie Parasite, uh, it won Best Movie of 2019. Uh, so it was actually Oscar uh, 20, 2020. It was February of 2020 when it won. It's a Korean film. It's a reader. Uh, my wife didn't want to watch it because she thought it was a horror film, which is funny. My wife loves Stephen King. She's read every single Stephen King book. Um, but she didn't want to see it because she thought it was horror. It's not a horror movie. Um, if anything, it reminded me of like a Coen Brothers movie, kind of like Fargo or Raising Arizona, if you've seen The Big Lebowski. It had a little bit of violence, but not, not a ton. I wouldn't say that it was overkill. It was a comedy, honestly, kind of funny at times. Um, so yeah, Parasite, if you want to check it out. It, like I said, it's a reader, so you have to, you don't have to, I guess you could do the subtitles. Um, I spent a summer in Mexico, and when I was there, I was in a town called San Luis Potosi. Um, and when I was there, there was a movie theater, and uh, they were showing American films as well as Mexican films. And uh, most of the people in Mexico like to see American actors with their American accent. Not, they don't like a dubbed version. They, like, they watch it with subtitles. So I always watch foreign films with subtitles. I watched a lot of movies several years ago, back when Netflix was still pretty new, when they only sent DVDs. This would have been like 2006. And I, got, I watched a different movie every single day for... An entire year, 365 movies. Um, I'll get back to movies in a second. The razor that I'm using today is the first time I've ever used this razor. It is a Yaki uh, razor. I bought it on um, 
uh, AliExpress and it took over two months to get here and it's finally here and I'm ready to use it. I've had it for a few days. I'm excited to use this razor. It's a double open comb and I'm using the Treat Falcon blade again. I use these blades five times. So you're probably gonna see the same blades get used again and again. So back to the movie. Uh, yeah, it's a reader and I, and I recommend it. It is thrilling at times, but not scary by any means. Oh, no, no, no. I was saying that I watched 365 movies. The one thing I really noticed about watching that many movies is foreshadowing. I watched old movies. I watched new movies. I watched comedies. I watched foreign movies. I watched thrillers. You name it. I watched tons of movies. What makes a good movie is foreshadowing. This razor's doing really well, honestly. I think I paid like 17 bucks for it. Not bad at all. Um, I'm impressed. I, you know, it took two months to get here though. That's cool. I have time. I'm patient. Um, so foreshadowing. So if, the only thing that kind of sucks, if you watch a ton of movies, you start to notice foreshadowing. You know, it's kind of forced. If the, uh, the writer director can show you something at the very beginning of the movie, and it seems insignificant and then suddenly bam it's a major thing and it's like a huge turning point in the movie then then that it's it's that gotcha moment you know but if you've seen a ton of movies you kind of know what to expect you're expecting it i'm impressed with this razor i know there's other folks out there that have used yaki brushes yaki razors i have one yaki brush I'll show that pretty soon. But the Yaki Razor, I'm impressed with it. Um, yeah, 365 movies. I read a lot as well. And there's foreshadowing in, um, you know, books as well. Tonight, though, I watched Parasite a few nights ago, a couple nights ago. Tonight, the wife and I watched Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. She had never seen it. I had not seen it in, gosh, probably 20 years. John Candy. I miss that guy. Uh, that's kind of the first celebrity death that I remember. I remember like seeing it in tabloids and stuff. And just being like, and I liked him. I liked him in Uncle Buck and The Great Outdoors. Those are kind of some movies I remember uh, as a kid. And then to know that he was he was gone, it was sad. I may have gotten this too wet. Yeah. No shame in going back. And just throwing a little bit more soap in there, like half a squirt. That'll do me just, that'll dry it out enough. Yeah, there we go. There we go. My wife and I, every, because of the pandemic, my wife and I, every Friday night, we have a, a date night. We, we order takeout. I go and get it. Uh, we put our kid to bed, and then we watch a movie, and we kind of alternate. I pick one week, she picks the next week. We mutually agreed on plane trains and automobiles. But like I said, she didn't want to watch, pan uh, uh, not Pandemic, um, Parasite, and she would have liked it. She also has gotten into cross-stitch. She, I mean, she used to do it, and she's back at it. So she doesn't look at the screen, only, or only about half the time. So a reader wouldn't really work out. Oh yeah, I was going to go against the grain here. Gosh, shooting these videos throws me off. Are you guys in the same boat? I had my routine that I've done for years, and then lately I'm shooting videos. And it's throwing everything off.
I usually listen to music when I shave. I know this razor sounds really loud, but it's not super aggressive. It's my only double open comb that I own. I have a couple of other open combs. One is super aggressive. It's a West Coast shaving, like the midnight. It's like all black. Fat handle has a super, it weighs a ton. Um, another reason I got this razor is it's red and black. And if you remember, a couple of shaves ago I did a video and I mentioned that I have a Omega synthetic brush that's red and black and I bought it because it was it's the same color scheme as Texas Tech University it's where I got my first degree in broadcasting it's funny I got my First job at a TV station back in 2005, January of 2005. Um, in December of 2004, I was a senior in college. And my apartment building caught on fire. And uh, I grabbed my video camera and a tripod. My dad's a retired firefighter. I heard sirens and whatnot at about 7 o'clock in the morning, and I opened my door, and smoke comes pouring into my apartment. And there's a firefighter standing there in full get-up. And I couldn't see his face because he had a mask on, but he recognized me. My dad was retired. He had just retired. Um, and the firefighter, he talked like this because he had a mask on, and he said, Drew? And I looked at him, and I said, Alan? And, again, one of my dad's firefighters. And he said, your building's on fire. You need to get out. So I grabbed my camera. I looked around and I thought I may never see any of this stuff again. So I grabbed my camera and I grabbed my tripod. And fortunately, it wasn't major damage. My apartment had very, very little damage. Um, but other people in the apartment complex, they lost pretty much everything. But nobody was hurt. Nobody was killed. Um, but based on that footage, because I used a tripod and the firefighters let me get pretty close... They ended up hiring me. The local TV station showed up, but by that time the fire was out. They looked at my video and they liked it, and they uh, gave me a job. And then I worked in television news for 15 years. Yeah, it was it was a sad thought to look at, you know, all of that stuff, and know if I never see any of it again. But I knew, even though I was in college and younger. Oh, I'm not done here. I gotta throw my routine off. I knew the important thing was my safety, and that's the case with anybody. You can replace things, but you can't replace people. I know they, you hear that cliche, but it's true. My dad always said the people that were kindest to him over the years were the ones that lost everything. You know, if they had a small fire in somebody's kitchen and they their dirty boots brought in soot and mud and stuff like that. They would yell at them for messing up their carpet, he said. But then also, he goes, the next shift, we'd have a house that completely burned to the ground. And the people would come over and say, thanks for doing what you did. You know, you tried. We're glad everyone made it out safely. It's interesting. Sounds like a movie script. Yeah, I forgot to do these parts. It's my routine, man. It's thrown off. I'm impressed with this razor. Good, good buy. Good sub-20 buy. took two months. Patience. I homebrew. You learn a lot about patience with homebrewing. 
All right, let's wrap this up. Oh, I'll use my Allen block again. I got a shot of it this time. In my last video, I forgot to get a shot of it, so there you go. Here's a beauty shot. Wet my face a little bit. Better shave this time. I had some burn right here last time and it's not as bad this time. Yeah, not near as bad. Really no sting at all. Like I said, when I bought that razor, I just kind of did it for a novelty because it's red and black. Yeah, I'd like, even if it sucks at shaving, it'll be cool to look at. And it kind of matches that Omega brush. But it actually shaves well. Win win. And finally, the aftershave that I'm using is another Nivea product. It's called Deep. Have y'all seen this in stores and whatnot? Um, it's okay. It's not great. It's not my favorite. I bought it because it was cheap. Um, I like stuff that you can just find in a drugstore. I've never really used a premium um, aftershave. Some of these, you know, higher end $17, $18 aftershaves that pair with a, a shave soap. Eventually, I think I'll... Pull the trigger and I'll get a premium shave soap and aftershave. Any recommendations? Put them in the comment section. This stuff isn't bad. The smell is so-so. It's just kind of a fresh scent. It doesn't last too long. It doesn't burn at all. I mean, I know I use the Allen block, but it doesn't burn at all. Um, I wonder if it has alcohol. I don't know. I threw the box away and it really doesn't have any ingredients on the back but it says made in Germany well there you go folks fourth shave in the books we talked about foreign films and we talked about apartment fires and stuff like that so uh, hope you're enjoying these videos uh, I'll have another one up soon thank you